going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. And what we're going to be talking about today is the predictions for CWL Premier all going down this weekend. The season is now back in full swing. We are in season three. And what we're basically going to be doing is every week leading up to each matchup, um, what I'm going to be doing is putting together a predictions video uh, for who is going to be winning each of the matches, breaking down statistics, all that good stuff. But I am not doing it alone. I do have two special guests. Consider them the co-hosts of uh, this series that we're going to be doing on the channel. With me, I have Assassin straight out of TWSS and Wuxia from King Jeffrey. If you guys want to go ahead, uh, Wuxia, introduce yourself to the audience. Hey guys, um, Wuxia Titan Paul here, and I'm co-leader in King Jeffrey, but I'm probably most known because I was CWL admin for uh, a while. Yes, the beloved admin. And what is what is your what do you do now for the CWL? Right now, I'm moderator. So basically, I kick people when they need to be kicked from the lobby. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, and um, assassin, go ahead and introduce yourself. What's going on, guys? Great thing for admin. I really appreciate it. So. Uh... I'm Assassin. I'm the leader of TWSS. Uh, we just reformed about a month ago after a six-month hiatus. Uh, last last season, I was in One Hive, Clan Camel Day, and Power COC. Um, and this year, looking to bring TWSS to the top of the premiere. Absolutely. And I know you guys had a lot, and I mean a lot of hype, when you guys announced it, I believe, in a YouTube video, if I'm not mistaken, as well as on Twitter, and you guys had all kinds of love and support from the war community, so very, very excited that you guys came back. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. These uh, predictions. So, uh, Assassin, go ahead let me know what you think of the FYSB and Dark Looter X War. Looter X? No, I'm going with FYSB. FYSB. Okay, Wuxia, well, what do you think? Um, I agree that this is going to be an awesome war. Um, I'm actually going to go with Dark X on this one because I do think that they are so good with organization and with getting in some Dark Looters guys. Yeah, I'm going to pick them. Okay, me, what I'm going to take for this one, I'm going to go with FYSB. This is obviously the top two seeds from each of their divisions. Uh, that's how they matched up all of these uh, between all the different divisions. They have seed one, two, three, and four all matching another division being seed one, two, three, and four. So this clearly is going to be a heavy hitter extravaganza. I'm going to go with FY FYSB. I think they're out for revenge um, when they took, when they were runner up in Premier when they lost to Marshall's Nation. I think they're out for blood. And I know that Dark Looter X, I know there are going to be some Dark Looters players. For those of you that don't know, Dark Looters did retire uh, about a week ago. Um, that they'll probably take on some of their some of their players. I do know towards the end of Season 2, they also uh, were struggling to put up big numbers. Um, so it'll be a very, very good war nevertheless. But I'm also going to be going with FYSB. I know Wuxia has taken DLX. Okay, moving on. Next up we have Emphatic Fury. Going to be taking on bad intentions. Uh, Wuxia, what do you think of this matchup? Um, this is another one I'm not quite sure of. We did actually war bad intentions the other week, and it was one of them wars where neither clan had a very good showing. It was sort of like, you know, who, who was the least bad. Uh, so, right. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to, I mean, I don't think they're going to, I mean, I think they're going to bring, bring it, but for this one, I'm going to go with Patrick Fury. Okay, what do you think, Assassin? I just 
Fury, actually. So, again, uh, meeting once again, kind of butting heads, trying to understand what's up. Um, <laughs> that's good. That's what that's what this is here for. That's what we're here for. Yeah, absolutely. I know. I think Ben Tench is going to take this. I mean, they joined uh, the Premier League midway through the season. They had to make up multiple games in the middle of the week. I think that um, it's going to make this a lot easier doing one game a week for them. So I think that this is going to be a close one. I think it's going to be a one or two star war, or even a percentage war. But I think Ben Tench just comes out on top. Okay, and you basically have um, emphatic fury coming from Premier. Uh, last season, you already mentioned Bad Intentions, uh, who had to take on another clan's record when they went into Rising. They finished out that season five and six. Emphatic Fury finishing at seven and four um, in Premier. I'm gonna go with Emphatic Fury. It's nothing against Bad Intentions, but I knew I do know that Emphatic Fury has a lot of momentum. They've been doing these league wars for a very long time. Bad Intentions was a clan way back when. They've now come back. I personally know Trey, who's one of the leaders over there. Um, but I am going to go with Emphatic Fury on this one, but also going to be a very close war like many of these are. But being a prediction video, I am going to go with Emphatic Fury. Okay, next one. All right, so we've knocked out two. Third one up. This will be very, very interesting. This matchup right here. We have Unius. Ex, uh, Exercitus. Did I say that right? Exercitus uh, versus Exercitus. Uh, okay, there you go. Um, taking on uh, Axew something. Uh, what do you What do you think, Assassin, on this one? This one's interesting. I have uh, uh, I have one of the co leaders, or he's either an elder co leader in uh, UE, and he's uh, he's hyping them up pretty high. So. Um, but we just wore uh, actually do something, and they they actually won the Grand Warrior Division in the MLCW, so another very competitive league. Um, I'm gonna go with the the newcomer though. I'm gonna go with UE. And and not to mention, uh, well, actually, before you answer, um, actually something also won the U.S. Cup Championships as well. There's something like I want to say, 16 clans that were involved in that just a couple months ago. And, I mean, they've been beating clans left and right. Um, I'll do my prediction real quick since I already started talking. I'm also going to go with Axie something. They've been taking down clans left and right. Take a look at their Warlog just in their random uh, matchups that they're having, beating invite clans as well. Um, but I'm going to go with Axie something. Unius Ex Exercitus, they're, they're the newcomers. You know, they have to prove themselves in the competitive uh, war scene. I mean, they're a brand new clan, just like FFS was not too long ago. Um, but that's who I'm. Some love that. You're there, you know how they feel. Oh no, no, I know, but I know the struggle that they're going through, though. I know the struggle they're going through, and I know when you bring, like we did in Forge from Steel, when you bring guys in from ten different clans, not everyone's on the same page. So there are going to be growing pains. However, that's also why I think I'm going to go with Axie something. Wuxia, what do you think? strong and also like a really i'm really excited to see these new clans coming in that's that's one of my favorite parts uh, when the season starts off but i do agree that there might be some growing pains and like getting into it whereas i think actually something has a more solid like experience with these sort of things um, the way they've been performing i just can't go against them Okay, so we got that in. All right, next up, moving right along here, we have War Addicts with an exclamation point taking on COC Hog Wars. Um, what do you think of this one, Wuxia? What do you know about these clans? Well, um, I know, I mean, War Addicts is, uh, they're a team legacy family correct and they've been like growing a lot and been doing a lot of like big wars and quite you know they had some really good performances and, and you know i think they really are uh, moving up a lot well and they did and they did go five and six i'm uh, sorry but yeah they did go five and yeah. six in uh cwl light so i mean they obviously have a lot of growing to do um, you know, they have to prove why they were accepted into Premier in this league. Um, you know, being five and six in light, teaming up with SL, I mean, one of the best clans that the game has to offer. 
uh, will be very, very interesting. What, what do you what do you think of this one, Assassin? Real quick. Didn't look to give her uh, prediction. I don't think she gave her prediction. Oh, did I skip over that, Luxia? Yeah, what who do you, who do you think is gonna win this one? I'm just I just got too excited there. Okay. What do you yeah. think? Uh, for the first time, I'm actually. Uh, <laughs> the first one yes, there you uh, go. Um, no, I mean, COC, Hogwarts, I mean, I don't, I don't know anything really about. I've had an interaction once with their leader, um, but I haven't really seen anything at all. Um, so I have to go with the client I know and war addict. So, I mean, who'll be wrong? Right, exactly. I could not agree with you guys more. My, I, I'm also going to go with uh, war addicts as well. Um, and we just don't know enough about COC Hogwarts. You know, they have the best chance to prove themselves right now why they're in Premier. Um, you know, very, very tough matchups, you know, top to bottom, left to right. And it's their time to shine. But for, for now, for this video, I'm also going to go with War Addicts uh, unanimously. Um, all three of us uh, went with War Addicts. All right, the next, this is, okay, the next one, moving on to... Um, Above and Beyond and King Jeffrey. You guys already know. You guys already know who I'm going to be going to on this one. Uh, Wuxia, what do you think of this matchup right here? Obviously brought in, I mean, they brought in, together with War and Glory, they brought in FPC UK and the family and been adding people. And I know that they have like, had a lot of competition for roster spots. So I do think they can feel the very strong lineup. Um, I know that they had a war the other day that wasn't too impressive, though. Um, I, however, I mean, the guys in Keep Jeff are going to kill me if I'm not going. <laughs> I'm just not going to take the risk of being kicked from the clown before the show is over. So I'm going to go with King Jeffrey on this one. Okay, so you're going, so you're going with KJ. What do you, what do you think, Assassin? I mean, you, you touched on the points. I mean, I, I looked at uh, both of the Ants roster because they're actually in our division. Um, right. We're going to have to face them down the road to get the championship. Uh, for, for you guys the are both in the Wizard division, division, right? Okay. And they have a lot of War and Glory alternates, so okay. um, they're going to be tough. And I, 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 hate, I hate to do it. I'm sorry, Lux, but I'm going to go beyond in this one. Okay. Now, for me, before we move on to the next one, which I'm going to go to you first on, I'm going to say something that I think is going to surprise a lot of people. I'm actually going to go, I would say... It, it, you know, if, if this was, if this was betting, I would definitely say King Jeffrey is going to be the underdog in this war. Um, oh, unanimously, they're going to be the, they're going to be the underdog. I'm actually going to go with KJ, and I'll tell you guys why. Um, King Jeffrey finished um, the season in Premier at eight and three. You have to keep in mind, King Jeffrey was similar to WHF two. Um, who's not in Premier, but they're similar to WHF2 where they were they were rode off a lot of the season. A lot of people did not think they were going to get as far as they did. And you guys have to understand, um, King Jeffrey, they were in the conference finals. They showed up when they had to, and um, they were one more away from making it to the finals. So I'm going to go with KJ. I mean, above and beyond, I know that they were 10-1 and one in light. Obviously, King Jeffrey was obviously spinning much heavier breakdowns in Premier. And I know the War and Glory, and I've heard FPC, uh, FPC UK has also, uh, they have uh, they also have alternate accounts there. But I'm going to go with the underdog here. I'm going to go with KJ to, as, as a shocker. Um, I don't know how many people will be agreeing with me on this. Huh? Right, exactly. Anyway, that's my prediction. Love it or hate it, but I'm gonna go with the underdog on this one. And King Jeffrey, uh, they might catch above and beyond sleeping. We never know. Okay, now this is an amazing war right here for very good reason. 
we have none other than TWSS going to be taking on Art of War. Um, you know who I'm going to start with. I have to start with Assassin. What, who do you think is going to win this war? And why? And why? But um, cool story is I actually started the clan Art of War about two years ago. I left TWSS for a time being, started up Art of War. I warred in there for almost a year and ended up uh, giving it away to, to the people that have it now. Um, so that's a pretty cool story that I get to go back and war the clan that I started in the CWL. So you were there from War 1? Yes, I was okay. the one that clicked on the button that hit Create Clan Said, you spent the 40000 in gold or whatever. and <laughs> yep. Nice. So, no, I mean, of course, I'm going with TWSS. I mean, we have a lot of guys coming from in my clans. Um, a lot of guys from Power COC. Uh, obviously, myself, along with uh, my two uh, co-leaders who started with, uh, start, restarted the clan, Isaiah and Titan. And we picked up a lot of great guys. So, I really feel that as long as we can execute the way we need to, um, I feel we can make a statement this weekend. Okay, well, see, what do you think? I'm also going to go with TWSS, both because, um, I mean, I do think they really, really want to prove something. I think if they, if they struggle, they struggle this season, it's going to be a bit later on when it's sort of, they're a bit worn down, whereas I think at the start, they're really going to come out and hit it hard. The second reason is also because I see a captain when he's angry. And, uh, um, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, right, if, right. If, if people in his clan aren't doing the job right, I have a feeling that they, you know, I, I think they're going to do They'll deal, they'll deal with the members appropriately. Okay, for yeah, me, exactly. okay, for me, um, we want to move on here. Uh, I'm also going to go with TWSS. Uh, Art of War for me and Premier, they just weren't able to find their stride. Um, throughout the season, you know, they had a must-win war when they wore Dark Avengers. It was it was a, it was a do or die at that point, and they were not able to execute um, on ma- on many different levels. It's obviously a new season; they have to prove themselves coming in. We got a brand new season, clean slate, and same thing for TWSS. This is a clan, guys. For those of you that don't know, watching this, they this was an established clan from back in the day. When we were doing the old school arranged war spins, way, way before the friendly wars uh, happened, um, the clan, you know, split for whatever reason. We can get into that later. You know, they split for whatever reason. They've now come back. So you already know every single member being their, getting their very first taste of a league war. They're they're in it to win it. Look out for TWSS. That's who I'm going to be going for as well. Um, they're hungry. They're hungry. This is their first league war. Um, and we're already in season three, uh, since this whole thing began. Um, and they're going to be hungry. I'm also going to go with TWSS. All right. Next up is going to be meet the Kings going to be taking on from molten lava. I was originally going to go first. Um, but I, I do want to pass. I do. Well, because I'm going to, I think I'm going to surprise. I think I'm going to surprise a lot of people with, with my prediction. And on my chart, this is the only matchup where, out of all of them, where I don't have it highlighted. And I will explain, I will explain why. Um, This is pretty much the most even matchup um, that you can get. Both of these clans have been runner-up to everything. Um, Meet the Kings. Uh, They were runner-up in CWO Light just last season. From Molten Lava. Same thing, runner-up in the U.S. Cup Championships, runner-up in MLCW Grand Warden Division, um, and only one of these clans can win. The clan, um, this is really, really hard. This is really, really hard for me, but I always stay unbiased. You guys know me. I'm actually going to go with Meet the Kings. I think I'm going to go with Meet the Kings on this prediction. A, you know what? It it is what it is. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Meet the Kings um, to take the victory. Um, I think that from Molten Lava, they have proved themselves as far as U.S. Cup Championships, up and coming clans. Um, MLCW, it's there for up and coming clans. Meet the Kings wasn't was in CWL Light um, 
where it's very, very, very competitive, a clan that is also very established, and love it or hate it, that's who I'm going to go for. I also, just like you said, I want From Molten Lava to prove me wrong, obviously it being a sister clan, but being completely transparent. My prediction is Meet the Kings. Who do I want to win? That is a different story, but this is a prediction video. What do you, uh, let's go with um, Wuxia. Who do you think is going to win this one? CWL Live Finals. They were so close to getting that victory, and I think that that made them really hungry and really want to get it. But I agree, it's going to be a close one. Absolutely. What do you What do you think, Assassin? I, you just changed my pick by, by saying what you did because <laughs> this is a really. I mean, this is. I'm sorry, guys. This is as close as it gets out of all the matchups so far. Yeah, you you just gave every single guy in the FML bulletin board material right there. Yep. And and now they're they're going to show like I said, who who do I think's gonna win versus who I want to win, uh much different, but we what's your prediction? I'm going with Alpha Mal. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the fact that now they I mean they already had some kind of proof, but now they have a co leader from their sister clan taking it against them. I'm going with Alpha Mal to prove you wrong. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, let's move on. I'll get the flack later. Uh let's move on. Um <laughs> I know this has already gotten a little longer than what we thought it was going to. Oh, you'll, oh, you'll see it. You're there. Uh, let's go CWC Brawlers versus... I'm going to try not to butcher this. I'm really not going to try to butcher any of these clan names. Uh, Gahazi, uh, Gahazi Bombers 2. Um, what do you got... Uh, Assassin, what do you think of this matchup? I'm going with CWC Brawlers. Um, I don't have too much reasoning behind it, though. Okay, Wuxia, what do you think? I'm going to go with Guy Heights Bomber, or how you say it, um, <laughs> because I think they, well, first of all, I mean, they lost to Above and Beyond last season. Um, also, they're Japanese, and I have a thing for these Japanese clans. For the, the Asian clans are beasts. Exactly. Okay, that's also my prediction. Yeah, so according to our notes that we have here, so they lost against Above and Beyond in the conference final. So if Gahazi Bombers beat Above and Beyond, it would have been them in the in the finals um, when they would they would have been warring Meet the King. So um, just based off of that, I don't know too much about either of these clans either. Um, so I'm gonna go with Gahazi Bombers. Uh, two as well. We don't know much about them, but as far as statistically wise, they got pretty far in what is that? Uh, CWL light. So I'm just going to go off of uh, pure statistics um, on that one. Okay, this is going to be an amazing matchup right here as we move right along. Gunma Samurai taking on North Awakens. Uh, Wuxia, what do you think on uh, this matchup here? So I'm going to go with Gunmar Samurai. Uh, also, I mean, some of their wars last season, they were so impressive. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to go with that. Okay, what do you think, Assassin? I got to agree. Uh, um, uh, Gunmar, they're the rising champions from last season. So, yep. uh, they, they're, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, we, we are saying how good Above and Beyond is, but Gunmar Samurai won the league above above and beyond, so I gotta go with them. Okay, fair enough. That's also my prediction. I've actually had a chance to war these guys a couple times, um, believe it or not, in potluck spins, and that was back in uh, midwinter days when they were a level one clan. We didn't know what they were. It was a level one clan, zero wars one, um, you know, so we thought it was maybe just an arranged war clan they did, and here I see them, you know, showing up last season in rising and winning it, um, so they definitely have their act together. I'm also going to go with Gunman Samurai. North Awakens, however, being part of the North family, 
very formidable. Uh, they could also surprise us, but I'm going to go with Gunma Samurai as well. Okay, moving right along. Grumpy Old Men taking on Dragon Rejects. Uh, what do you guys think of this matchup? Assassin, go ahead. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, okay. So I, I think, honestly, Grumpy Old Men is one of my sleeper picks to go very, very far. I think they have a chance of winning it all just based on some of their off-season wars I've seen. I mean, they've put up uh, several, several great performances. So I'm going to uh, pick them to go 1-0 and this week. Okay, Wuxia? I'm also going to go with Grumpy Old Men, both because, I mean, they have some awesome people there. Um, and also, I really like so, <laughs> there you go. Uh, there you go. Okay, so taking Grumpy Old Men. That's also that's also my pick. Um, they knocked out FFS opening round um, in Premier last. Uh, you know, uh, just last season. You know, they're back in Premier again. Um, I mean, they're in it to win it. Absolutely. You know, they're they're back in Premier. Uh, I also know that, you know, they've picked up quite a few members. They've been heavily, heavily recruiting uh, from a lot of clans. And Dragon Rejects was was just kind of, to me, they were just kind of mediocre uh, throughout the season in Premier. Uh, in Season 2, is that the same now? They'll have to show us uh, what they can bring. So Dragon Rejects definitely has their hands full taking on Grumpy Old Men. And people slept on them, uh, just like how they slept on King Jeffrey. Um and look at how far they got in, in the season last year, putting up all kinds of uh, numbers. So I'm, that's also going to be uh, my pick as well. Uh, next next matchup we're going to be talking about is Reddit Viper. Um, both of these clans are new um, to Premier. We have Reddit Viper, who's new, and also Kornfeld uh, making their debuts into Premier. Uh, what, what do you think of this one, Wuxia? Right. Yeah. Beast mode sister cam. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't. I didn't know that. That's interesting. So you know, I'm I'm really curious what they can do, and I'm actually gonna go with Cornfield on this one. Okay. Uh, what what do you what do you think of this matchup? Assassin. I, mean, I think this is gonna be a very close war, like you're saying, Wax. Um, with them coming back, I mean, I know I know a couple guys in Cornfield back in my time in TWSS long ago. Uh, Nato, uh, he's a guy back in Cornfeld. Uh, I, I got to go with them as well. I think that they probably do have some talent that was in beast mode, and they're coming on over, and they have something to prove. Okay, I know you guys had mentioned that before, uh, Cornfeld being sister clans with beast mode, how many of them um, are now part of Cornfeld, who's also new uh, to League Wars. I know they've been doing the ranged wars. I've seen a little bit. Of the, you know, they have a YouTube channel where they recap, uh, you know, their ranged wars and some random matchups and so on. I don't know a whole lot about them myself. I know Princess Leia is in Reddit Viper, um, and I have had the chance to war them. Um, ironically enough, in a potluck, guys, uh, matching Reddit Viper, uh, Princess Leia being, I believe, the creator of the potlucks. You know, you know what a coincidence that was. I know it, it's crazy. Um, so. I would definitely say I'm gonna go with Reddit Viper. I, I for you know, like I knew you guys had mentioned the beast mode thing, but I'm still gonna stick to my guns on Reddit Viper. They did go uh, looking at my notes here in Rising. They went six and five, um, so just a little bit above 500. They they, they did end with a winning record, um, but I will go with Reddit Viper just because I know that clan. Um, and as these prediction videos, uh, you know, as we go forward. Um, we'll be making assessments off of this current season, not, you know, past results because people recruit heavily in, you know, in the off season. But uh, I am going to go with uh, Reddit Viper on that one. Um, next up, we have Valar Morghulis uh, taking on <sighs> Var Heislake. Va Va uh, Var Heislake. Hopefully I didn't butcher that too hard. I'll definitely try to get these right and make it right. Um, interesting matchup as well. Both of these clans uh, being in, what is it? The Yeah, in the fourth seed in Dragon Division. 
and Visail Lake being fourth seed in the P.E.K.K.A. division. Uh, what do you think of this one, Assassin? I think this is a good one. Uh, VM is a part of the BFE family, mm-hmm. so uh, they have that experience. They've been around for a while. They're um, a battle-tested war clan. Uh, Varghese Lake, uh, I know they were in Rising or Light last season. Is that how you say it, by the way? Yeah. Okay, because you were like you said that with like crazy confidence, so I didn't know if you knew something. I didn't know. Okay. You gotta go with confidence. You can't. You gotta act like you know what you're saying. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Very no, nice. No, I, I honestly, uh, just for the fact that the, what I know about the uh, with Butler and Magulis, I, I gotta go with them. Uh, they're, they're a battle tested clan. I know we'll see a lot of them in the season at Pirate Potter uh, doing his Twitch stream. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing them. Okay, what do you agree or disagree, Wuxia, with Assassin? Uh, I'm going to disagree. Um, I, I'm going to go with Valhaisa Lekke, and because I think that, I mean, they're quite a big family, they've been doing quite well. Um, you know, I do think it's going to be close for them, but I'm going to go with a Finnish one on this. Yeah, and I, and I see on our notes here, they were, they also finished, um, Six and five uh, in rising. Um, I'm gonna go with Valar Mogulis based off of you know, like going off what Assassin said. You know, they we do know they're a part of the By Forever family, uh, which is an incredible clan family, six clans strong. So they're gonna have a lot of talent in there, and um, yeah, I mean, not much to say. I don't know a whole lot about uh, Varhels Lake. And again, all these clans that we don't know about that we've mentioned that are watching this, uh, this is their time to shine. Uh, you know, this is just the very first video. Yeah, exactly. Prove you know, prove us wrong, and um, you know, just show you know, show everybody what what you got. You're this is you know, this is the big leagues now as far as uh, competitive um, league action goes. So w- you know, my my prediction though, straight up, Valar Mugulis, part of the BFE family. Um, that's who I'm gonna go with. All right, moving on. This is the uh, the last four matchups uh, before we wrap it up, and this is this is going to be this could also be in in competition with War of the Week as well. Swarm Synergy taking on Forbidden. Uh, let's go with let's go with Assassin uh, again on this one. Uh, take it away. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna give uh, Swarm Synergy some bullets and important material here. I think they're overrated. Um, okay. Obviously, they have the Swarm name behind them. Um, I don't know how many members from the Swarm family, the, the clan that was an invite that was dominating, and then they got the, the mod bands. Who knows how many people are band, uh, were modding in there. Um, I think they're overrated. Uh, I think that Forbidden is going to win this war, and I think they're going to win it convincingly. Is Forbidden, do you guys know, is Forbidden a part of uh, any other clan families? Fake warrior. Fake wargasm. Okay, um, Wuxio, what, what what do you think? Do you agree or disagree? I think it's going to be a lot closer than that. Um, but um, I'm also going to go with forbidden on this one. But yeah, I, I could easily see this go either way. I mean, form synergy match with we are Spartans last season, uh, so they got some people from them, and then they also got. You know, obviously keep from the swarm. So I think that's going to be interesting. Uh, I think maybe they, you know, going to be a bit stronger later on in the season. Okay. Uh, from from what I know, um, you base. I mean, from what I saw when I was doing recordings, when when we are Spartans, I believe they were taken down by uh, FYSB. When I went to record. Literally every single member in the clan, uh, you know, when you look over down, in, you know, in the uh, war events and you see the clan, they were gone and you clicked on all their names. Every damn near every single member from We Are Spartans, um, who used to be obviously part of Spartans Legacy, they peeled off and became part of, even though they had the We Are Spartans name, they were part of the Swarm family. Um, and they did very, very well um, in, in Premier. And they're pretty much swarm. They're pretty much swarm synergy. Uh, we are Spartans equals swarm synergy. And I know how good they did in Premier uh, last season. And they're coming pretty much coming right back uh, with the same clan. 
Um, I'm going to disagree with both you guys on this one. I'm going to go with Swarm Synergy just because they have that experience. But I do see what you're saying as far as how many members actually went, considering a lot of the, account, uh, the accounts got banned for modding as far as who went there from the Swarm and so on. Uh, but my pick is going to be Swarm Synergy. Uh, but Forbidden, you know, like you said, being teamed up with Fake Wargasm, um, definitely uh, going to be a heavy hitter war. Uh, definitely a war to look out for, you guys. Um, next up, moving along, we have BD Unbeatables taking on Dark Avengers. Wuxia, what do you think? Well, um, I think this, oh, this is a tough one. Um, I think Dark Avengers are really good. However, I'm going to go with BD Unbeatables because they just moved up from Rising. And to me, that tells me that they right now feel that they are they they want to prove if they're really unbeatable or not okay uh what do you think assassin Yes. Uh, but for this war, I'm going with Dark Avengers. And you bring up a good point. Um, something I was talking about, you know, more towards the end of the video, is we didn't know about Marshall's Nation, or the majority didn't, and they ended up winning this thing. So any of these clans that, you know, that we don't know about, that could be a really, really good thing um, uh, for those of you watching this. Um, I'm all. I'm gonna agree with Assassin on this one as well. Um, I know a lot of the guys over in uh, in DA, and I've seen the numbers that they can put up. Um, they put up 86 stars, but they lost to Jay off in, um, I believe it was the semifinals and they were, I, I know that they're, they, they want to come back to premiere and prove everybody that they deserve that top spot that they almost feel cheated because they put, they had, they went a hundred percent on dips. I believe they had three, if not four, 10 v 10s putting up 86 stars out of a 90 star total and still ended up losing. Uh, they're hungry. They're definitely going to be coming out of the gate on this one. Uh, definitely swinging. So I'm going to go with uh, Dark Avengers as well. Uh, we got two more matchups here. Uh, we'll blow through these real quick. We have Gotaborgs, Krieger taking on One Hive Genesis. Um, Wuxia, what, what, what do you think of this matchup? I think this is going to be a really good one. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good one. And the boys are big, yeah, that's a Swedish clan. And, and I'm obviously from Sweden. Uh, so, you, so, do you know, so you know a little bit about these guys, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know a lot of them, actually, quite well. Um, okay. And I think they're really good people. Um, I have to go with them. You know, I have to pass my confidence. Were were they in? Were they? Oh, they were in. Oh, they were in Rising uh, last season. Yeah, finished exactly. at six and five. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Assassin, of this one? Uh, I'm gonna sweeten a little bit of love here. Uh, no, I, 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 one high Genesis. I mean, from what they used to be, I, I just I don't feel they're at the caliber of, of where they used to be. I used to they used to be one of the stronger clans out there. Obviously, they have that one high name. But they, I just, I don't see very impressive performances from them anymore. Obviously, I was in One Hive last season. I, I, was, I, I mean, they're not really associated with One Hive Genesis. Um, they're, they're associations with One Hive Prime. But that One Hive family, but I, I, I'm not impressed. I'm going with the, the Swedish clan. Okay, that's really, really interesting. Um, I'm going to go with, I'm actually going to take One Hive Genesis um, on this one. And I know that they've also been heavily recruiting, that they've been setting up, um, you know, quite a few arranged wars. You know, I do know quite a few of the guys over there, you know, been talking with them. And um, as far as, wh wh how, do you, how do you pronounce this name? Uh, what, does this, what, does this, 
name mean? So, what does this name mean? Uh, go to Borg. Does that mean something? Yeah, Jeff Tabor is Kiga. It means. Ooh, um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's um it's the second largest city in Sweden, Jeteborg. Oh, this is a city. Okay. Oh, very, very. I like, I like that insight. I like that insight right there. Um, not really too much for a reason. I, I mean, I have to pick one on my notes here. I have one Hive Genesis circled. I know that they've, you know, been doing heavily recruiting, and I know that um, they want to bounce back. They did not have a good season at all in Premier. Um, that cannot be disputed. Um, definitely fell flat um, pretty much throughout the season uh, from beginning to end. And I know that they basically made it into playoffs by default. However, with that being said, I think they're also hungry. Like a lot of these clans are, they're back in Premier again. They didn't drop down a league. Um, they feel that they can compete. And, you know, I don't know too much about uh, Gothenburg's uh, Kriga. And only time will tell. But I'm going to go with um, One Hive Genesis uh, to take the victory on this one. Last matchup, guys, before we wrap up the video. Assassin's Core taking on Nottingham. I actually like this war. Uh, actually like this war a lot, even though both these clans are in the fourth seed in each of their divisions. Uh, let's go with Assassin. Um, what do you, do you have some insight on this matchup? I mean, I think this is going to be a good one. We faced Assassin's Core in week two, so I'm going to keep a close eye on this match personally. Um, but I think Nottingham and Assassin's Core are both been uh, underrated. Um, if I recall correctly, Assassin's Core did very, very well in the light they, they made the playoffs. Um, and then Nottingham's coming up from Rising. Um, I'm going to have to give this to Assassin's Core. Um, I think that this is going to be a very close war, but I'm going to go with my namesake. Okay. Uh, Wuxia, what do you, what, what, do, you, do you agree or disagree? Right, <laughs> a thing for Asians. Yeah, what's like for Japanese clans? Exactly, I'm just going to go with all the Japanese clans. Right. Um, I know that um, Nottingham, they were in Rising. Uh, you have an Assassin's Corps who was in Light. Uh, Rising obviously being the, you know, the heavier breakdown um, in each of those leagues. I'm going to go with Nottingham as well. Maybe not for quite the same reason uh, that, that Wuxia has. Um, but, but, I mean, without being said, though, we do know, just like Concha, you know, they surprised a lot of people. They were also a Japanese clan, an invite, uh, that did much better than what, what people originally thought. Um, I'm also going to go uh, with Nottingham. Not to say that, I mean, I think either of these clans can win. Um, you know, Assassin's Corps, you know, they've been around quite some time now. Um, you know, they have a lot of active members and leaders uh, in the war community. Um, but I'm going to go with Nottingham as well. I'm going to uh, definitely agree with uh, Wuxia on this one. And I think we went through, I don't think we missed, what was that? We made it through the list. We made it through the list. 16 uh, matchups going down this weekend, guys. Uh, this was just the first taste of the predictions video. Um, that we're going to be doing during the bye weeks. Uh, we plan to do power rankings. I know a lot of people have been asking if um, Premier is going to get any power rankings love. It absolutely um, Premier spins are a day sooner than they were before. So for those of you guys interested in catching streams and things like that, recaps and so on, uh, the spins are going to be on Thursday, Battle Day Friday, ending um, Saturday afternoon respectively to your time zone. And it's Invite who's doing the Friday spin, Battle Saturday, ending on Sunday. For those of you guys interested in catching any streams or anything like that, again, we want to get everybody informed and involved as much as possible. And um, I really hope... Yeah, Riggs, uh, yeah. Riggs, before we end the video, just throw some hype out for some people that are streaming. I know Adam and Lady B are both going to be streaming uh, the Above and Beyond more. I know that, that uh, like I said, Pirate Potter's going to stream in uh, VM. Yes, and we also have and okay, and also uh, we have Ano Clash, who's going to be streaming uh, from Molten Lava, uh, their matchup against Meet the Kings um, as well. So I mean, we got a lot of big names, a lot of hype that's going to be um, 
surrounding surrounding premiere. It is now. Uh, the battles are going down this weekend, guys. And I hope everybody enjoyed the video breaking down uh, all the matchups. And this will be something you guys can all look forward to uh, each week before the matchups. By weeks, we'll be, we will be doing the power rankings. And I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe uh, to the channel if you have not already. And you guys can go ahead and uh, give any shout-outs you guys want or say goodbye to the folks. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, good luck and uh, shout out to King Jeffrey and everybody doing the work there. I really look forward to good war against above and beyond this weekend. Yeah, we definitely want to wish all 32 clans the best of luck, whether we win, a, you know, for your clan or against. I know everyone's going to be, be performing without a doubt. So good luck to all 32 clans out there, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.